Hello there, welcome to Sea Terms. Today we are here with another Bug Bounty Recon video. But before we start we like you to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified every time we upload a new video. So in the previous video, we show how to enumerate subdomains, how to find subdomain takeover etc. If you haven't watched that video yet, please do watch to better understand this video. I will leave the link in the description and also in the i button. But before that, please note that this video is for informational and educational purposes only. So, let's get started with our first recon tool. The first tool we will see today is Get All URLs. This tool will give you all the available URLs for the target domain. So, we'll search for the GAO tool in the browser as we always do. You can see the first link. I have already explained about GAO so let's go to the installation directly. You can also use Docker for that, but for this video we will install it by go command. So let's check the help menu. You can see some of the options like the O string save the result, subs option to include subdomains of target etc. Let's give it a try. So, as you can see we got all the URLs from hackerown.com here. It will take time, so let me stop this here. You can also define provider's string here. Let's save the result for our next tool. For that, we have used OString. Okay, so next we have a JS file enumeration. As you all know, that many times developers leave secret in JS files. There are many reports on Hacker One where hunters found API keys, token, credentials etc. on JS files. So first, let's see how we can get JS files. So on the last tool we have saved HackerOwn's URLs from that we can get JS files. So, for that we will use cat command and grep command together with the help of pipe command. As you can see we got all the JS files. Let's save the results. I hope you know what you have to do next to this JS file. If you don't know. Stay tuned to see terms we are coming with the new video on JS file secrets. Next, we have a GF tool, a wrapper around grep to avoid typing common patterns. As you know how we use grep tool to enumerate JS files. Just like that we can also find other URLs for possible XSS attack and many more. But we can't always type the big grep command with the patterns. For that we have a GF tool which makes it easy. So, let's see how it works. Let's install it. As you can see in the help menu, we have different options. List option will give us a pattern list available. Let's see that. As you can see we have different patterns for finding XSS, SQLI, etc.
Let's try XSS first. Here again, we will use our save file from get all URLs tools. Now you can try your XSS payload in this URL. Let's try one more. If you want to see the grep command you can use this dump option. If you want to save your own pattern there is a save option for that. That's it for today's video. We are coming soon with part 3 and also with some more interesting videos. Till then stay tuned, and don't forget to hit the like button, and for any feedback and question use the comment section below. Thank you.